The Kura Araxes culture or the early Trans Caucasian culture was a civilization that existed from about 4000 BC until about 2000 BC, which has traditionally been regarded as the date of its end. In some locations, it may have disappeared as early as 2600 or 2700 BC. The earliest evidence for this culture is found on the Ararat Plain, it spread northward in Caucasus by 3000 BC, but never reaching Colchis. Altogether, the early Trans-Caucasian culture enveloped a vast area approximately 1,000 km by 500 km, and mostly encompassed, on modern-day territories, the southern Caucasus except western Georgia, northwestern Iran, the northeastern Caucasus, eastern Turkey, and as far as Syria, the name of the culture is derived from the Kura and Araxes river valleys. Kura Araxes culture is sometimes known as Shengavishan, Karaz, Erzurum, Pular, and Yanik Tepa, Iranian Azerbaijan, near Lake Ermia cultures. It gave rise to the later Kerbet Kurik Ware culture found in Syria and Canaan after the fall of the Akkadian Empire. Topic: <laughs> Early History. The formative processes of the Kura Araxes cultural complex, and the date and circumstances of its rise, have been long debated. Shulaveri Shomu culture preceded the Kura Araxes culture in the area. There were many differences between these two cultures, so the connection was not clear. Later, it was suggested that the Sioni culture of eastern Georgia possibly represented a transition from the Shulaveri to the Kura Arax cultural complex. At many sites, the Sioni culture layers can be seen as intermediary between Shulaver Shomu Tepa layers and the Kura Araxes layers. This kind of stratigraphy warrants a chronological place of the Sioni culture at around 4000 BCE. Nowadays, scholars consider the Kartli area, as well as the Kakheti area in the River Sioni region, as key to forming the earliest phase of the Kura Araxes culture. To a large extent, this appears as an indigenous culture of Caucasus that was formed over a long period, and at the same time incorporating foreign influences. There are some indications such as at Arslantip, of the overlapping in time of the Kura Araxes and Uruk cultures, such contacts may go back even to the Middle Uruk period. Some scholars have suggested that the earliest manifestation of the Kura Araxes phenomenon should be dated at least to the last quarter of the 5th millennium BC. This is based on the recent data from Avkular Tepsi, a late Chalcolithic settlement located in Nakhchivan by the Arpakai River. <laughs> Expansion Rather quickly, elements of Kura Araxes culture started to proceed westward to the Erzurum Plain, southwest to Cilicia, and to the southeast into the area of Lake Van, and below the Ermia Basin in Iran, such as to Godin Tepa. Finally, it proceeded into the present-day Syria AMUQ Valley, and as far as Palestine. Its territory corresponds to large parts of modern Armenia, Azerbaijan, Chechnya, Dagestan, Georgia, Ingushetia, North Ossetia, and parts of Iran and Turkey. At Esos Hoyuk, in Erzurum Province, Turkey, early forms of Kura Araxes pottery were found in association with local ceramics as early as 3500-3300 BC. During the early Bronze Age in 3000 2200 BC, this settlement was part of the Kura Araxes phenomenon. At Arslanti, Turkey, around 3000 BCE, there was widespread burning and destruction, after which Kura Araxes pottery appeared in the area. According to Geoffrey Summers, the movement of Kura Araxes peoples into Iran and the Van region, which he interprets as quite sudden, started shortly before 3000 BC, and may have been prompted by the late Uruk collapse end of the Uruk period, taking place at the end of Uruk. IV phase C. 3100 BC. Topic: <inaudible> Settlements. Archaeological evidence of inhabitants of the Kura Araxes culture showed that ancient settlements were found along the Haraznan River, as shown by drawings at a mountainous area in a cave nearby. Structures in settlements have not revealed much differentiation, nor was there much difference in size or character between settlements, facts that suggest they probably had a poorly developed social hierarchy for a significant stretch of their history. Some, but not all, settlements were surrounded by stone walls. They built mud brick houses, originally round, but later developing into subrectangular designs with structures of just one or two rooms, multiple rooms centered around an open space, or rectilinear designs. At some point, the culture's settlements and burial grounds expanded out of lowland river valleys and into highland areas. 
Although some scholars have suggested that this expansion demonstrates a switch from agriculture to pastoralism and that it serves as possible proof of a large-scale arrival of Indo-Europeans, facts such as that settlement in the lowlands remained more or less continuous suggest merely that the people of this culture were diversifying their economy to encompass crop and livestock agriculture. Shengavit settlement is a prominent Kura Araxis site in present-day Yerevan area in Armenia. It was inhabited from approximately 3200 BC Cal to 2500 BC Cal. Later on, in the Middle Bronze Age, it was used irregularly until 2200 BC Cal. The town occupied an area of 6 hectares, which is large for Kura Araxis sites. Topic: <laughs> Kura Araxis Mounds. In the 3rd millennium BC, one particular group of mounds of the Kura Araxes culture is remarkable for their wealth. This was the final stage of culture's development. These burial mounds are known as the Markopi or Markopi period mounds. Those on the left bank of the river Alazani are often 20 to 25 meter high and 200 to 300 meter in diameter. They contain especially rich artifacts such as gold and silver jewelry. Topic. Economy The economy was based on farming and livestock raising especially of cattle and sheep. They grew grain and orchard crops, and are known to have used implements to make flour. They raised cattle, sheep, goats, dogs, and in later phases, horses. Before the Kura Araxis period, horse bones were not found in Transcaucasia. Later, beginning about 3300 BCE, they became widespread, with signs of domestication. There is evidence of trade with Mesopotamia as well as Asia Minor. It is, however, considered above all to be indigenous to the Caucasus, and its major variants characterized according to Caucasus historian Amjad Jamuka later major cultures in the region. Topic. Metallurgy In the earliest phase of the Kura Araxes culture, metal was scarce. In comparison, the preceding Lalateep culture's metalwork tradition was far more sophisticated. The Kura Araxes culture would later display a precocious metallurgical development, which strongly influenced surrounding regions. They worked copper, arsenic, silver, gold, tin, and bronze. Their metal goods were widely distributed, from the Volga, Dnieper and Don Donetsk river systems in the north to Syria and Palestine in the south and Anatolia in the west. Topic. Goods Their pottery was distinctive. The spread of their pottery along trade routes into surrounding cultures was much more impressive than any of their achievements domestically. It was painted black and red, using geometric designs. Examples have been found as far south as Syria and Israel, and as far north as Dagestan and Chechnya. The spread of this pottery, along with archaeological evidence of invasions, suggests that the Kura Araxes people may have spread outward from their original homes and, most certainly, had extensive trade contacts. Jamuka believes that its southern expanse is attributable primarily to Mitanni and the Hurrians. Topic. Viticulture Viticulture and wine making were widely practiced in the area from the earliest times. Viticulture even goes back to the earlier Shulaveri Shomu culture. The earliest evidence of domesticated grapes in the world has been found at Gatachirili Gora, near the village of Imiri, Marnuli municipality, in southeastern Republic of Georgia. Carbon dating points to the date of about 6000 BC. Grape pips dating back to the V 4th millennia BC were found in Shulaveri, others dating back to the 4th millennium BC were found in Kizanant Gora all in this same Shulaveri area of the Republic of Georgia. A theory has been suggested by Stephen Batiak that the Kura Araxes folk may have spread Vitus vinifera vine and wine technology to the Fertile Crescent, to Mesopotamia and the Eastern Mediterranean. The spread of wine goblet form, such as represented by the Kerbet Kurik ware, is clearly associated with these peoples. The same applies to the large ceramic vessels used for grape fermentation. Topic. Culture The culture is closely linked to the approximately contemporaneous Makop culture of Siskakasia. As Amjad Jamuka puts it, The Kura Araxes culture was contiguous, and had mutual influences, with the Mykop culture in the northwest Caucasus. 
According to E.I. Krupnov 1969 there were elements of the Mykop culture in the early memorials of Chechnya and Ingushetia in the Meccan and Bamit Kurgans and in Lugovo in Serjun Yurt. Similarities between some features and objects of the Mykop and Kura Araxas cultures, such as large square graves, the bold relief curvilinear ornamentation of pottery, ochre colored ceramics, earthen hearth props with horn projections, flint arrowheads, stone axes, and copper pitchforks are indicative of a cultural unity that pervaded the Caucasus in the Neolithic Age. Late in the history of this culture, its people built kurgans of greatly varying sizes, containing widely varying amounts and types of metalwork, with larger, wealthier kurgans surrounded by smaller kurgans containing less wealth. This trend suggests the eventual emergence of a marked social hierarchy. Their practice of storing relatively great wealth in burial kurgans was probably a cultural influence from the more ancient civilizations of the Fertile Crescent to the south. According to Giulio Palumbi, 2008, the typical red black ware of Kura Araxas culture originated in eastern Anatolia, and then moved on to the Caucasus area. But then these cultural influences came back to Anatolia mixed in with other cultural elements from the Caucasus. Topic. Burial customs Inhumation practices are mixed. Flat graves are found but so are substantial Kurgan burials, the latter of which may be surrounded by cromlechs. This points to a heterogeneous ethno-linguistic population see section below, analyzing the situation in the Kura Araxas period, T.A. Akindov notes the lack of unity in funerary monuments, which he considers more than strange in the framework of a single culture, for the funeral rites reflect the deep culture-forming foundations and are weakly influenced by external customs. There are non-Kurgan and Kurgan burials, burials in ground pits, in stone boxes and crypts, in the underlying ground strata and on top of them, using both the round and rectangular burials, there are also substantial differences in the typical corpse position. Burial complexes of Kura Araxas culture sometimes also include cremation, here one can come to the conclusion that the Kura Araxas culture developed gradually through a synthesis of several cultural traditions, including the ancient cultures of the Caucasus and nearby territories. Ethno-linguistic makeup Hurrian and Urartian language elements are quite probable, as are Northeast Caucasian ones. Some authors subsume Hurrians and Urartians under Northeast Caucasian as well as part of the Alarodian theory. The presence of Kartvelian languages was also highly probable. Influences of Semitic languages and Indo-European languages are highly possible, though the presence of the languages on the lands of the Kura Araxas culture is more controversial. In the Armenian hypothesis of Indo-European origins, this culture and perhaps that of the Makop culture is identified with the speakers of the Anatolian languages. The expansion of Y-DNA subclade RZ93 R1A1A1B2, according to Mascarenhas et al. 2015, is compatible with the archaeological records of eastward expansion of West Asian populations in the 4th millennium BCE, culminating in the so-called Kura Araxas migrations in the post uruk IV period." According to Pamjav et al., 2012, "...inner and Central Asia is an overlap zone," for the RZ280 and RZ93 lineages, implying that an "...early differentiation zone," of RM198 conceivably occurred somewhere within the Eurasian steppes or the Middle East and Caucasus region as they lie between South Asia and Eastern Europe." According to Underhill et al., 2014-2015, R1A1A1, the most frequent subclade of R1A, split into RZ282 Europe and RZ93 Asia at circa 5800 before present, in the vicinity of Iran and eastern Turkey. According to Underhill et al., 2014-2015, T he suggests the possibility that R1A lineages accompanied demic expansions initiated during the Copper, Bronze, and Iron Ages. See also Leyla Tepe culture Prehistoric Azerbaijan Prehistoric Armenia Prehistoric Georgia Asagamalahasan Hoyak Topic References 
Topic Sources Topic External Links Georgi L. Kavtaradza, The Chronology of the Caucasus During the Early Metal Age, Observations from Central Transcaucasus 2004, Alternative Site Kura Arax Pottery, Karnut I BC The Kura Arax Pottery Technology Database Captech. The Beginnings of Metallurgy, includes extensive discussion of Kura Arax's metalworking Toby Wilkinson 2009, Pathways and Highways, Roots in Bronze Age Eurasia, Archatlas, version 4.1 accessed, 9 November 2015 Dynaki's Anthropology Blog 2013, Origin of Early Transcaucasian Culture aka Kura Araxes Culture Shengavit, a Kura Araxes Culture site in Yerevan on the Ararat Hills, Republic of Armenia. By Hakip Samanyan, 2000-2008 Season Field Director Problems of Early Metal Age Archaeology of Caucasus and Anatolia. Proceedings of International Conference, November 19-23, 2014, Georgia, edited by G. Naramanishvili. Tbilisi, 2014-305 pages ISBN 9789941071000 